wait of a good thing come to me from above if I would count all the blessings from the storehouse above I simply ask for the favor of him beyond Psalms 80 Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Massanus, stir up thy strength and come and save us. Turn us again, O God, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? Thou feedest them with the bread of tears, and givest them tears to drink in great measure. Thou makest us a strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Turn us again, O God of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt, thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Thou purposed room before it, and didst cause it to take deep root and fill the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the bowls, therefore, were like the godly cedars. She sent out her bows unto the sea, and her branches unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges, so that all that which passed by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O God of hosts, look down from heaven, and behold, and visit this vine, and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou hast made is strong for thy, thyself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. Thou perishest at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou hast made is strong for thyself. So will not we go back from the quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O Lord, God of hosts. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. 81. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel and pleasant harp of thy parity. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in thine appointment on of our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. Thus he ordained in Joseph for a testimony whom when he went out through the land of Egypt where I heard a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden. His hands were delivered from the pots. Thou callest in trouble and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thy thunder. I proved thee in the waters of Meribah, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, it, that will thou hearken unto me. Thou shalt no strange God be in thee, neither shalt thou not worship any strange God. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people would not hearken unto my voice, and Israel would, not, would none of me. So I gave them up unto their own hearts' lust. And they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. Adver adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted them to themselves unto him. But the time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat. And with the honey out of the rock should I have satisfied them. 82. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges from among the gods. How long ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked, Selah? 
Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not whether they where they understand. They walk out on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of the course. I have said, Ye O guards, and you are the children of the Most High. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Eighty three. Keep not thy silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God, for lo, thine enemies make a torment, and they that hate thee have lifted up thy head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be uh, no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are conf confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarites, the Hagarins, Jeba and Ammon and Amek and Philistines with the inhabitants of Ty. Assur, who is joined with them, they have a hope in the children of Lot, Selah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to the Syri, and as to Jabin, and the brook of Kisson, which perished at Endor, that they ate as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Oeb, and like Zeb, yea, all the princes of Zeb and as Zalmion, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. O oh my God, make them like a wheel, as a stubble before the wind, as a fire burning for wood, and the flame setteth the mountains aflame, with the tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame, for they seek the name of the Lord. Let them be confounded in trouble forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish, that man may know that they whose name alone is Jehovah are the most high over all the earth. 84. How amid they are tabernacles, O Lord of hosts. My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the counts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found a house, and the swallow a nest for himself, herself where she may lay with her young, even thine altars. O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee, Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, and whose heart are the ways of him, who passing through the valley of Bacon, make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools, that they go from the strength and strength, every one of them in Zion, the pair before God, O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointing. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withheld from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is a man that trusteth in thee. Amen. Be God to me, all fear.